What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today I'm going to hit you up with my thoughts and opinions on this latest album from T.I. called Dime Trap. Now, T.I. is an ATL legend who's been active in the game since the late 90s, and he does have some pretty great albums under his belt. In spite of that, his past couple of records, Paperwork and Trouble Man, really were not received too well. Myself, I didn't think they were all out trash by any means, but I also didn't think they were exceptional. They just had a couple of good tracks on them, and then they kind of faded into the mist, whereas his older work still stands up today. At least that's how I feel about it. I would say that his 2016 compilation, Us or Else, is actually some of his most slept on work. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you give it a spin. It did come out as an EP first, which kind of, you know, it was getting very political and dropping some social commentary. And then it expanded into a full project that was actually quite dope. Didn't really see too much discussion around it, but in spite of that, I thought it was great. So give it a listen. But getting into this album right here, the content does get pretty mature, so you are seeing some growth from T.I. on this one. One of the main themes is his come up from dope boy to a family man, as he says on the song Light Day. And you're also going to get more of this on the song Seasons. In regards to breaking down his come up, I think this was a track that really did the best, and it works nicely since it is the album's opener. You're getting this very minimalistic organ lace production that has a little bit of an epic feel to it. You're also getting some vocals on here. Didn't have it in my notes because I fucked them up. I forget who it was. I'll just put their name here. But there were some nice vocals on this track. And here he's just rapping about going from serving junkies and hoopties to riding around in a Bentley and just being the star that he is today. That's one of the things you're really going to get throughout this album is some quality content, man. T.I.'s been around for a while. He's been through a lot. He's seen it all. And he's definitely putting that out there for you to hear on this one. I also got to point out how Dave Chappelle is on this intro, speaking on how we just got to strive for greatness and be the best that we can, and he acts as a narrator throughout this album. I didn't really feel like he added a whole lot, to be honest, and that's not to take anything away from Dave Chappelle. We all know he's a comedy icon. I got a lot of love for Chappelle, Chappelle's show, Half Baked, all his stand-up, pretty much everything he's done. But I didn't feel like he played that important of a part on this album. Like, I feel like if you took him off this album, it wouldn't have made much of a difference. But hey, it was still cool to have Chappelle on here. So it is what it is. But one of the main topics that people are talking about with this album is how T.I. gets down into just breaking down his marriage and some of the shit that he's gone through. In particular, he gets into some self-loathing, just putting himself down on the amazing Mr. Fuck Up, just going into some detail about his failings as a husband and how he hasn't really lived up to what he probably should have been. And while there is a smooth sound here and some nice vocals from Victoria Monet, it does kind of have a bit of a poppy, light radio feel to it. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that more ballad style stuff, so I didn't like this one in regards to the sound. But again, the content on it is really dope. You're also getting the same sort of thing with At Least I Know. Sonically and topically, it's in the same vein. It's poppy and very light and also just basically detailing relationship issues, that sort of thing. So, you know, these moments are not the brightest moments on this album, in my opinion. You're going to get the same sort of thing with the songs You and Be There. Again, some more poppy R&B vibes, very light. So, you know, I don't think songs like this are trash by any means. I just think they're very standard. Like, there's nothing on here that has a unique stamp on it, even for T.I., who's been around for such a long time, other than that little bit of content. But just sonically, they're kind of boring. Like, I listen to them, I don't go, these are all out awful, but I'm not going to come back to them either. So these were some of the moments that actually took away from the project for me. Now, you're also going to get some very standard and generic bangers on here as well. And I think these are going to be hit and miss because, or hit or miss. Hit and miss? Hit or miss, man. You got to pick whether it's a hit or a miss. That's what I'm trying to say, goddammit. Getting a little bit sloppy here, but you know what I mean. I'm just saying that these bangers don't bring anything new to the table, but they're definitely going to work if you want some trunk slappers. So you got Wraith with Yo Gotti, Jefe with Meek Mill. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I'm in Canada. We don't really learn much about Spanish. We do the French shit, so bonjour, wee oui, wee, oui, and all that good shit. Uh, and you also get more and more with Jeezy. Out of all these tracks, I actually like more and more with Jeezy. Yes, it is more and more the same. <laughs> See what I did there? But this is just that classic Jeezy and tip, man. Heavy 808s, a horn banger, just really loud and blaring. Just that dope boy shit that you want from these two. So I thought it was cool for what it was. Definitely a bit of a throwback track. You, you know, you've heard millions of tracks like this before, so it's not going to blow you away or anything. But you know what? It's just tried and true, like MJ's jumper. Putting those two on a banger, spitting dope boy shit is going to work. So, you know, there are some bright spots on here for sure. I also thought The weekend was kind of a cool cut. This is just a very wavy track that sounds like being out on a beach with torches blazing people playing volleyball girls in bikinis dancing definitely could picture a video for that so hopefully that's what they go for if they do you're getting a young thug feature on this that isn't too outlandish so it fits in this was a pretty cool track 
But generally speaking, I just like T.I. when he's on that gritty production. I think that's when he shines is when he's spitting that more aggressive style on some hard-ass beats. So you got the Just Blaze sample bass banger laugh at him. This one is hard as hell. Absolutely love this beat. Just has a very loud and crashing sound to it. So T.I. snapped on there. I also think it has some of his best flows because he's working that fast style. And then on Looking Back, he's dropping some more street wisdom and narrative. Over this beat, that kind of reminds me of some Adrian Young shit. Just has that sound to it. And as soon as I heard it, I thought to myself, why did you not get Ghostface on this track, man? Ghostface Killer would have bodied this shit. It just sounds like a Ghostface track, man. I dare you to listen to this and say to me, it doesn't sound like that. Because you can't do it. You'd be lying if you did. But you know what? At the end of the day, my overall feelings with this album is that it's just good. I really do like the grimy, gritty shit. Some of the bangers are decent. But then with those five or six poppy type of tracks, it really just gets boring and generic as you listen through, man. It doesn't really sound like something from a veteran who could have, you know, maybe mixed it up and brought something a bit different or new or just stepped his shit up to the next level. I don't feel like he did that, you know? Uh, you also get this dime a dozen croony sound from YFN Lucci on Pray For Me. This adds to some of the genericism that I'm talking about about so for me i'm gonna go with a three out of five man i really do appreciate the subject matter like i think ti's rapping is pretty good on this you are getting that mature content but sonically like like this was hard to review man this is one of those projects that i kept coming back to just trying to flatten out my opinion but i just wasn't excited about it as i was listening to it and that's why i didn't go with a 3.5 out of 5 because i definitely thought about it i would say this is probably a strong three not like it's not close to a 2.5 or anything like that but, you know, I don't think I'm going to come back to many of these songs. Probably none of them, really. Maybe The weekend just for some light vibes or Laugh at them. Those two tracks really stuck out to me. But I don't know, man. I didn't think this was a great album by any means. But it's good, man. Definitely check it out, and you'll probably come out of it with a couple of tracks. But that's just what I got to say about it. You guys can check it out for yourself, and then hit me up in the comments section with your thoughts. And, of course, man, make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff where you show me love and you show me lots of it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.